okay now students let's talk about the three uh, uh, diameters of the pelvic inlet so there are three important diameters here the important diameters are anatomical conjugate and the, or the anatomical diameter then you have the obstetric conjugate and then you have the diagonal conjugate so first talk about the anatomical di conjugate or anatomical diameter okay so the anatomical diameter extends from the you can see the ex it extends from the tip of the sacral promontory to the upper border of the symphysis pubis so sacral promontory tip this is the tip of the sacral promontory to the upper border of the symphysis pubis so this is the basically you call it uh, anatomical conjugate so this is the area is called anatomical conjugate it is from the tip of the sacrum uh, uh, sacral promontory to the upper part of the symphysis pubis okay so this is <coughs> anatomical conjugate it is 11 centimeter after that we have the obstetric conjugate that is the least diameter of the pelvic inlet so smallest diameter of the pelvic inlet is 10 centimeter obstetric conjugate it is from the starting point is this sacral promontory up to the most prominent part on the posterior part of the sympathetic pubis. This sympathetic pubis here is made up of uh, thermocol, it is actually not near, but uh, sympathetic pubis is basically a cartilage. Okay, so if you have a uh, in a real female pelvis, what happens? This is a real pelvis, but it's a not uh, live in a live pelvis. This is a uh, there is a cartilage here, and there is cartilage are irregular. So sometimes what happens that there is a bulge here. Suppose uh, you can see this bulge here. Okay, so it starts from this. Uh, area and up to the this this point and up to come up to the sacral promontory so this, this is the smallest diameter because this diameter can anatomically is the is large but here you can see the baby has to pass through the most prominent part here so this is the smallest diameter this is the obstetric conjugate and the last part is the uh, diagonal conjugate the diagonal conjugate what you do in a pv if you do a pyrovaginal examination you will do like this okay if you do a pyrovaginal examination you will go like this so this is like you will you have to I'm sorry, I'm just having some difficulty in holding this. You have to put your fingers like this. So if you put a finger from here, you see this, just imagine this pain as my finger. Here you can see you can reach up to this. So it is actually the diagonal conjugate. So this is the how you measure the diagonal conjugate. Okay, from the lower border of the sympathetic pubis up to the sacral promontory. So th this is the diagonal conjugate and this diagonal conjugate is uh, 12 centimeter okay so there are three diameters anatomical conjugate diagonal conjugate and obstetric conjugate